going on? It's Ash here coming at you today in Raid Shadow Legends for a shard opening, my biggest sacred shard opening video ever here on the channel because I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, great, Ash, this content, it's amazing, but we need even more shard pulls. <laughs> We need even, oh no, that, that's not, that's not you guys. <laughs> that, that's Plarium thinking that. That's, that's Plarium thinking that. <laughs> Before we jump into the shard pulls, guys, let's go ahead and just check out, check out what my chat, what, what the clan is, is chatting about lately. Uh, let's take a look. And I used to like Dreamweaver. Oh, Dream. I believe you can get me through the night. All right, guys, here we go. No messing around. It's time to pull 21 sacred shards. I mortgage my house. I mortgage my future. I mortgage my conscience just to pull some sacred shards and raid Shadow Legends. Welcome to the video, guys. Ugo! Baby, my favorite epic champion in the game, bar none, it is Ugo. I love Ugo. Probably better than any legendary that I will pull in this video. By the way, guys, speaking of legendaries in this video, we got a two times chance, 12% chance to pull a legendary, and we have a 10 times chance, which basically means no guarantees at all because there's a million champions in this game, for Borogar the Elder. First of all, he looks really cool looking, man. Really cool looking. His face is, uh, is it wooden? Is it gold? Is it armor? Who knows? Either way, he has an increased resistance and speed on his A3. Very interesting ability. Let's hope that we pull him in today's video. So how you guys doing? Welcome to the video. We're going to do $100 to charity. We're going to go with against Malaria. Against Malaria, uh, one of my favorite charities, as you guys know. Helping save the lives mostly of children. 400,000 people die every year. Uh, from a preventable disease in malaria. So let's go ahead and help some people out. Uh, the link to that, I really appreciate you guys who join me in those donations. The link to that will be in the uh, in the show notes below if you guys want to make a you know a couple dollars if you can afford to do so. Speaking of a couple dollars, guys, just get this out of the way. I mentioned it on my other YouTube channel. Oh, wait a second! <laughs> Boom! Shakalaka! Uh, hot card smash lord! I just recorded a video with Hell Hades talking about Hackhorn Smash Lord is right there, like a B level champion who's right there, like one little buff away from being an amazing champion. And what I was saying that I want him to, what the change I want, excuse me, is really this A2. I love to see this being able to be booked down to a three turn cooldown. And then I think immediately he's just a great, one of the better cleansers out there to use on your squad. He's still a good champion. But I just want to see this brought down one turn. What about you guys? Am I being greedy here? Uh, overall, though, he has a sacrifice HP, deals damage. Uh, can't be critical, though, on the A3 blood offering. Doesn't do a tremendous amount of damage. So I would like to see a little buff to Hackhorn Smash Lord. But I say that already kind of coming to the table, recognizing that he's a really solid legendary champion. So welcome to the team, Hackhorn Smash Lord. Of course, we didn't get the 10 time champion. Uh, but that's $100 to charity. No big deal. So, uh, as I wanted to tell you guys earlier, I mentioned on my other channel, but really briefly here, I'm reading a book. I'm trying to, listen, trying to become the best version of myself, trying to be the person who displays the type of character that I want to display to my friends, my family, my loved ones, anybody I encounter, you guys, my, my viewers, right? Uh, it, not only that, but I also trying to get my mental in a better spot to where only wasting my mental energy on things that I can impact, things that, you know, my character, my actions, my thoughts. So with all that said, I have like a 52 week thing. This is not like some paid sponsorship or anything like that. It sounds like I'm giving you guys a, an ad read or something, but it's called uh, the Handbook for New Stoics. Handbook for New Stoics by Gregory Lopez. Uh, if you guys can't afford the book, it's like $10. Uh, it's free if you have audible.com. Just tweet me at CWA, the first 10 or so of you guys who tweet me. I'll Venmo or PayPal you $10 or $15 just so you can afford to join in. It's a 52-week kind of program. Uh, each week, you giving a little lesson, a little lesson on to make you a better kind of stoic person and for me, for whatever reason, stoicism has always been, I guess, the philosophy, the mindset, the way to live life that's resonated a lot with me. Everybody's different. But anyway, I want to invite some of you guys, if you're interested in taking that journey with me. Terror Beast, no thank you. Hackhorn Smash Lord. Boom! <laughs> Saito! Welcome to the squad, Saito! Looking good, brother, looking good! 
Uh, Saito's a very, very interesting champion. He was the first kind of, I mean, he's not a Shadowkin champion, but he's the first champion that was added that has some Shadowkin lore, right? A dead Shadowkin champion. Uh, kind of a teaser to the new faction. He was also based on a on a, a creator, I believe, right? Uh, either way, you guys can check out the uh, the the video from Raid Shadow Legends. Uh, he was the first character model that I believe they they used. Uh, so overall, very very cool champion. Good champion can deal some serious damage. Has this vendetta passive where he can ignore defense each time this champion attacks the same target in consecutive attacks or turns. Uh, so listen, he's no. Ninja, right? He's not, you know, this is not the escalation passive, but overall, especially in longer battles, he can definitely be a very, very serviceable. But another one! There we go, with Veer the Crowned, who I just uh, sold my soul to get in the last shard opening video. Let me get her. A dupe! Uh, dude, what do you guys think I should do with Withir the Crowned? Should I empower her? Or should I have two of them? I think I'm gonna empower her. She's got an AOE with a leech and a continuous heal on a random ally on an A1. I mean, stop right there. That's a really cool A1. A2, increased defense, increase the duration of continuous heals and then instantly activate them on a three turn and then remove all buffs or debuffs from all allies. Removing all buffs would really suck. And then heals all allies by 30% of this champion's max HP on a three turn cooldown. Boy, does she seem like one of the best healers inside the entire game. I have not built her yet. That was only a few days ago that we had our last shard opening. Uh, but either way, we didn't get the 10X, but we got our third legendary. That's $300 to charity. Boom. All right, here we go. We have Grimskin. No, thank you. Let's keep it moving here. Man, oh man, oh man. Three legendaries. Unbelievable. Gorlos Helma, he's a pretty decent champ, man. He is an AoE decrease defense on his A3. He's got HP burn, decrease accuracy, three turns on a four turn cooldown. Fills his own turn meter as well. And also has each hit fills turn meter if the target's under those debuffs. He can put out a lot of damage, right? Not just the burn, but the uh, the, the decently hard hitting AoE decrease defense. I like Gorlos Helma for a debuffer. Next up, I'm getting kind of greedy here. Frostbringer! Here we go again. You don't bring the frost! I know I'm not perfect. Get out of here! We talked about this last video, so I will not belabor the point. But most in need of a buff, Epic, maybe not number one, but she's in the conversation, man. Make Frostbringer great. Period. Juliana, I'm also a Juliana hater while we're at it. Buff Juliana, man. Listen, buffing Juliana is so easy. So easy. Just make this a four turn cooldown. Five turn cooldown to, to place an HP burn? No. And make this a four turn cooldown. Five turn cooldown to a, to a what, attack one enemy two times? No, 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 no. Juliana used to be good back when there was like nobody in the game with poison and HP burn in the same kit. Now she's just very, very power crept in my opinion. All right, next up, we have, whoa, 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 Sashi, you're running in a little fast there. She is it just me or did she run in at like four times speed? Turns out they are adding four times speed to the game only in Sachi's running. Good God. An AoE attack would decrease accuracy on the A1. She was just like on the A2, we've got decreased crit rate in a leech and uh, increased attack. Fills the tournament of all allies by 20% of the attack is critical. I like the fill the tournament of all allies on just a random ability. It's pretty cool, right? On a three turn cooldown. Uh, a lot of you guys like Sashi. I'm gonna admit to, I have not built her. I, I have her, I have not built her. Should I? Would you like to see a guide on any of these champions? You guys go ahead and let me know. Uh, Aranus is is a really solid champion. I'm not gonna, oh, another one! There he is! There he is! That's four legendaries, ladies and gentlemen. That's Boragar. The Elder, Force Affinity Dwarf Champion, has the face that we couldn't figure out. Uh, let's let's read his kit here, guys. Has a 65% chance of placing an increased defense for one turn on the alley. Lowest HP will not be placed on this champion. 100% if the attack is critical. That's a pretty cool A1 antique staff. Wait a second, does his staff look antique? I can't really move him around too much. Eh, I guess it looks kind of antique, I guess. Uh, mystical antique motif going on there. Souls of the Old Stone, his A2, three turn cooldown, remove one random debuff from all allies, place a shield buff on all allies for two turns, 20% of this champion's max HP, okay. We already talked about it, increased resistance and speed on the A3, 
And then allies receive 10% less damage from uh, from champions whose resistance is lower than or equal to theirs. Very interesting. Resistant all battles by 50. Maybe I'm greedy, but I would like to see this at 60 or 70. 80, maybe 90. Daddy. But either way, a really interesting kit. Guys, I hope you don't mind if I take a quick uh, little interlude here. And uh, I do want to see his base stats really quickly. I want to take a look-see here. So, Boragar, what do you have? 21k HP, 97 base speed, 1244. Resist base is 50. Okay, not too bad. I'd like to see him a little bit faster if I can get a little greedy there. But overall, I'm very excited to build that champion. Let me know if you want to see a guide on him. Uh... Okay, can we go? We have four legendaries. Magnar! Magnar's a beast. Percussive Pound is a nuke and a half. It's a nuke and a half, man. One of my favorite arena nukers uh, in the game. All right. We have Doer the Hungerer. Get a reviver in the uh, in the demon spawn. Great addition to the game. I have not built him, but, you know, kind of know what you're getting with that dude, right? That blob. All right, here we go. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Gory, you're running in pretty fast, too. Not as fast as Sashi, but man. All right, Shadowkin. Must be a Shadowkin thing. One of my least favorite Shadowkin epic champions. Next up, we have Torture Helm. He has the, uh, is this guy that revives? Yeah, the annoying, always reviving himself, uh, but not a great champion overall. All right, three left, guys. Give me the fifth legendary. That would be a record here, I think, for shard opening videos. Thea, meh. Boom. Okay, we got one more, guys. We got one more pitiless one. No thank you. Legendary gold. Boom. Okay, there it is not. There it is not. But as Catacomb Counselor, it's the ally attack champion that nobody talks about. Teams up with three random allies to attack a single enemy. The allies joining the attack will use their default skills. He was like, you know... Lady Atessa, Catacomb Counselor. This is the world that we lived in before Farrakhan and the Fat in the epic category, Ally Attack Champions. That's all I got for you guys. No more shards where that came from today. I am very satisfied with my four legendary champions. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Uh, really appreciate you guys. And uh, let me know again, at CWA, if you need help uh, purchasing that book. If you don't need help, if you want to just join me in the... And I'll recap you guys on kind of what I'm doing there. Not every week, but maybe a couple times a month. Uh, but if you can't afford to do so, but you really like to just go ahead and uh, and let me know thank you so much guys and as always take care guys i used to like dream weaver oh dream weaver i can't oh dream weaver i'll do it again <laughs> and i used to like dream weaver hit it oh <laughs> one more time osama